What's going on everybody? Welcome to Game Freak. Today I have some items that are coming out in 2024 from my arcade and Atari. And some of these look pretty cool. Um, now I can't give you too much information on them because most of these, or I should say all of them, they don't start really hitting the market until like quarter three and quarter four of 2024. So there's not a whole lot of details on these, but I'm going to give you all the details that I can give you. So let's uh, start out. Some of these are, are pretty cool, man. And then I'll, I'll give you, uh, you know, my opinions on all of this after I go through these. So let's check these out real quick. The first thing that I am going to show you is... The Atari Game Station Portable. Now, this has officially licensed fully playable titles, a 7-inch high-resolution display, a rechargeable battery, integrated paddle, trackball, and keypad, and it will be available in quarter 4 of 2024. Now, when it comes to this... um. I'm kind of curious on a couple things here. Um, first off, the I think it's really cool with the with the trackball. That's pretty neat. But I'm just wondering how that's going to work because um, just from the picture, it looks kind of small, which you know it, you'd expect that on something portable. Uh, but it looks like you know most people are going to use their thumb on that, and I'm just wondering how that's going to like feel and how it's going to like control. I mean, I, I'm kind of curious on that. I mean, because obviously, if you want like the legit way to play like centipede and stuff like that, you need the trackball, and uh, this it, that's a really cool feature. I'm glad that they did this. Um, my thing is, oh, there's also looking at the picture. There's also four buttons on it. And I think the reason they did this is because obviously this is going to have the same library that uh, the Game Station console has. So I think the four buttons on that is mainly for those bonus games because if you don't have the PlayStation or PlayStation, the Game Station, it's such a close, you know, Game Station, PlayStation. But if you don't own the Game Station, uh, console then you don't know what i'm talking about here but the bonus games which are like pico arcade games they are a pain in the ass to play with uh those joysticks if you want to play them your best bet is using like a third party controller like a ps5 or ps4 controller uh or xbox whatever whatever your preference is but uh it makes it a lot easier to play but you know, that's that's totally up to you. The other thing that I'm curious about, because it doesn't say if it includes one of these on here, is is there an SD slot on this? Because, you know, I've complained about, and I do I do love the Atari Game Station. I'm, I'm having a blast with the thing. But uh, it, luckily that has an SD card because... I understand the whole licensing issues and stuff like that, but it's missing, it's missing like a lot of games that you know made Atari, like the twenty six hundred famous, you know, like Pac Man and uh, Space Invaders, Pitfall and stuff. That none of them games are on there. So obviously, them games aren't aren't going to be on here. And again, I get it; it's licensing issues. Uh, fine, whatever. But that's where an SD slot uh, will come in handy. So hopefully uh, there's an SD slot on this thing. We'll see. I mean, it does look pretty slick, to be honest. You know, it even has a, a paddle on it right above the D-pad. So pretty, pretty cool looking thing. The next item is the Atari Mega Player. And this is a tabletop retro arcade. Really cool. Um... This also has officially licensed fully playable titles, and it has a 10.1-inch high-resolution display, classic wood construction, mechanical joystick, and action button switches, uh, integrated paddle, trackball, and keypad. And this is also available on 
or in the fourth quarter of 2024. This sounds pretty awesome because I'm not into like the micro arcades because hands are too big for them. You know, this is a little bit bigger. You know, it's still like a little mini arcade, but you know, a, a 10.1 inch screen, you know, obviously this thing's going to be, you know, a little bit, a little bit bigger. So that's pretty cool. My question is this, and this is not me bashing Atari and the whole license thing is what games are going to be on this? Because I'm willing to bet I know which games are going to be on this and I know which games are not going to be on it. Sometimes, you know, as cool as this thing looks, I'm just wondering, you know, is it is it just the same old games just in a modded plastic case? Is is that all it's going to be or are they going to add some other games? Do they get like the licensing rights to some other games? So I'm kind of curious to see which games are going to be on this, how many games are going to be on this. Really cool idea, uh, especially for those people that might not have the room for full-size arcades, like the arcade one-ups and stuff like that. Uh, something like this, just a mini arcade uh, countertop or tabletop, is a a good option so uh really cool man so I, i'm kind of curious to see like the more details that come out on this what's all included and i'm curious on the price on this as well so that's the atari mega player the next is the atari super player and this is also a tabletop retro arcade now, this also has officially licensed, fully playable titles, a 7-inch high-resolution display, classic wood construction, mechanical joystick and action button switches, integrated paddle and trackball, and keypad. And this is also available in the fourth quarter of 2024. So there's a lot of stuff coming out in 2024 from these guys. It's, it's really not spread out too much. You would think, you know... You'd want some in the first, second, third, kind of space them out some, but this is another one coming out in the fourth. Um, now, a 7-inch screen, this is going to be a little bit smaller, but um, still bigger than the micro arcade. So um, I am curious to see what the price is going to be on this one, which games are going to be included on this one. And just like I said on the other one, is this going to just be another recycled game list that they've been using over and over and over again. Hopefully they don't put shit like basic math on it or backgammon and shit like that. Put some games on there. Get licenses. Um, and, and if you can't get the licenses, hopefully these also have an SD slot option so we can add the games that we want on this. So, you know, I'm not putting them down or anything. I Like I said, I understand licensing issues, but... It just gets old getting the same games just on a a, a new device, you know, it, it, but the same game. So uh, you don't really want to pay, or at least I don't want to go fork out a bunch of money just for a new piece of plastic with the same games in it. So, so far, these look really cool, though. This super, super player. So can't wait to see uh, more details on this. Again... Quarter number four, 2024. Uh, this next one comes out in quarter three of 2024. Finally, something a little closer. This is the Atari Game Station Joystick. This is a wireless rechargeable controller. Finally. Um, this has a paddle on it. The buttons are, you know, different than the original. Uh, it also has the RGB light modes. And, you know, it it might be a little more comfortable than the other ones. I did like the other, the original joysticks for the game station. The looks of them, I should say. Because I thought, like, that trigger button on the actual joystick would be pretty cool. Then the B button on the top. But, no, nah, man, it, it didn't work. It didn't, it didn't work out the way it looked. You know, it was real uncomfortable to use on them bonus games. Um... Uh, 
So I kind of shied away from them because of that. But uh, then again, I, I wasn't a big fan of many of the bonus games anyway, but that's a personal thing. I mean, if you like them, you like them. If you don't, you don't. So I'm kind of interested to see what the price is going to be on these uh, replacement joysticks. So let's go to the final item. And this is an Atari Game Station gamepad. And this is a wireless rechargeable controller. And this also has a paddle, rechargeable battery, RGB light modes, and this comes out in the third quarter of 2024. Now, this thing looks like it's kind of uncomfortable in a, in a way. I mean, maybe it's not, but just the looks alone, it, it kind of looks like it would be uncomfortable. Um, I don't know, it looks a little bit bulky to me but you know i you can't really judge from a picture it might be different when it's in your hands and stuff like this but i'm not real thrilled with this one um i am kind of curious to see what the price is going to be on all these because again um not bashing atari not bashing my arcade or anything like that but I'm hoping that all of these don't have the same library of games. They need to put some other games on there because I was very, very disappointed with the library on the Atari Pocket Player. Like, I love the looks of it, and um, there are enough games on there where I don't hate the thing, but I'm still disappointed in the library overall on it. Just like the Game Station, but... The thing about the game station is it has that SD slot and you can add the games that, you know, they couldn't get the license for and you can add them games. So that's that's a nice touch. So hopefully uh, we have them same options with this game station portable, which I think looks pretty damn amazing. I, I'm really looking forward to uh, more details on all these because this is all the details I have. I'd like to see some actual uh footage and everything because i know it was uh presented at one of what is the ces conference or whatever but i, I want to see some like game footage on how these things play and i'd love to see the library of games so yeah let me know what you guys think of these products i think they do look pretty cool but i'm gonna hold off and i'm not gonna say i'm gonna buy any of these and i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna buy any of these because you know there's some time before these things even release. So we'll see. We'll see. The closer uh, the time gets, uh, we'll have more information, and then I can make that decision. So let me know what you guys think of these things um, in the comments. And if maybe you're on the fence with me where, you know, you're going to wait until the time gets closer if you're planning on purchasing any of these uh, just let me know in the comment section. So thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Really helps out the channel a lot, and I greatly appreciate it. And until the next video, game on, everybody.